folks, Mr. H here, and we've got some news in the world of Universal's Dark Universe monsters and, and all of this. So, does anyone remember the uh, Universal's attempt to create the Dark Universe? Of course, that was the tagline which they brazenly opened with The Mummy. Uh, what was it, last year now, or the year before? Awful film. Regardless of what you think about it, it's my personal opinion. Thought it was garbage, it tanked financially, it did not do very well. And as such, Universal put everything on hold. Um, now, seems like they're ready to go again. So, what we've got is finally an update, uh, and at least a movie which is going to hopefully get pushed into production in the world that they were trying to establish, the Dark Universe. We don't know for sure whether this will be in that Dark Universe, or whether this will be another reboot of this attempted franchise that they're trying to go for. But basically, Variety has come out and stated the following. Upgrade director Lee Whannell has signed on to direct an Invisible Man movie. The movie reunites him with Jason Blum, who is set to produce the Universal Pictures movie through his Blumhouse Productions banner. The movie is part of a fresh strategy for the Universal Monsters properties, bringing creative directors with distinctive visions to the classic characters. Lee Whannell and Blumhouse previously worked together on hit films including Insidious, The Last Key and Upgrade. Whannell will be joining Blum as a producer. Johnny Depp was previously attached to The Invisible Man, but sources say he will not appear in this film. He may be featured in another one of the monster movie projects in development, sources say. Now, I can't get over the irony there, where they say, oh, sources say that Johnny Depp will not appear in this film. No shit, Sherlock. I mean, even if he was in the film, he wouldn't be appearing because he'd be the Invisible Man. But, I mean, you're, you're missing out on the punchline variety. Come on. Anyway, um, this being under Blumhouse indicates to me that this is an attempted reboot of their dark universe, but they're just not telling anyone, <laughs> which is hilarious because, like I say, They've tried to do this thing twice now, uh, and twice it's been blatantly obvious that they've been trying to do it. So we had Dracula Untold, which ended with, you know, the game is on, or, or let the games begin, or whatever it was, uh, which was blatantly an attempt to get a sequel and a franchise off the ground. We then had The Mummy, which was so ham-fisted, like, you, you know, you're eating pork for weeks. It was just unbelievable. Uh, and now this... I think they're trying to do it again, uh, but they're just going, Blumhouse, you deal with it. Just go off and deal with it. Uh, we'll give you a bit of money, and you can take some money as well from the from the movie. Lee Winnell's great. Upgrade's great. Great, uh, very ingenious ways of doing things. There's like a scene in Upgrade, like a fight scene, where it's filmed with an iPhone. So I've got big hopes for this, only because of the director attached. I don't care about Blumhouse. A lot of people think that they are the be-all and end-all of horror. They're really not. They do make an awful lot of bad movies as well as the good ones. Truth or Dare. Uh, need I say any more? They made that. It was crap. So Blumhouse couldn't give a shit about. But Lee Whannell, he's the driving force to make me a little bit more confident in this project. What do you think? And who would you like to see or not see as the Invisible Man? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, if you are new here, hit subscribe. Stay up to date on all the world of pop culture and movie news. And if you like this video, give it a like and a share. I'm Miss H. Take care.